Hello everyone, and welcome back to Democracy 4, where today we'll be playing with the new Voting Systems DLC. Little DLC, really quite cheap. Just gives us some more things that we can tweak about the election, gives us more strategies for getting re-elected. And since that is one of the main cores of democracy, I think that's a really good addition. As for what we're going to be doing today, I want to do a bit of an investigation. So I know in previous democracy games, going very tech-focused used to be really, really overpowered. And certainly I've had a lot of success with it, doing it tangentially in quite a few of the other runs that we've been doing. But I want to do a 100% tech-focused run here, really going all out on as much research, as much science funding as possible, making our country the centre of science. And where better to start a incredibly scientific run than the centre of the Catholic Church? So we're going to go for Italy. Never played Italy before in any democracy game, so this will be certainly something new. Oh, Sorry, just the um, default randomly generated name here is not quite what we're going for. So we are going to be the Rational Party. Leave this on a three-party system. Italy does have a lot of minor parties, all sorts of difficulties along with that. So we're going to keep that as best as we can simulate it in uh, this game. We are going to have our main opposition as the religious block, since going very science-heavy is going to put us at odds with the religious groups. It's going to be our main challenge here, since, of course, Italy is a very religious country. And then we're going to have the Populist Party as our third party. We're going to go for this nice, sciencey sky blue. Leaving all the starting settings uh, on default. Yay, let's see what we've got going. So we have really good GDP. That's always nice. We are running a bit of a deficit. Health is excellent. Education is excellent. Unemployment, not bad. Crime is a problem. We do have the Mafia. And poverty is relatively high. First off, though, we're going to change our ministers, see if we can get some nice loyal ministers. I'm going to pick up Giacomo Milani. I'm sure I'll be butchering these names as we go through. But he is pro-liberal. Doing the science route in this is probably going to align us more closely with the liberals than any other group. So I'll grab him. Uh, socialist liberal welfare person here. We got one commuter and ethnic minorities, economy, very strong suitability for economy. We got motorists and socialists here, seems a pretty good one. Actually, we get more political power from person. It's one really high political power for uh, public services. Motorist and socialist, law and order. Okay. And transport chief is socialist and parents. So it looks like to keep our ministers in line, we're going to have to be sort of on the socialist side. Let's just check out our starting state here. So of course, as with all of the starts that we've come across so far, respiratory disease is a big issue. But with COVID, do have Organised crime here, largely due to the Mafia giving a big boost to that. So tackling organised crime is going to be something that is really challenging. Uh, we have EU membership, which does annoy the Patriots, but gives us bonuses to international trade. Also gives us the Erasmus programme, which improves education. Uh, we do have an issue with tax evasion, so we'll just need to keep an eye on that. Getting environmental protests, but they are on the way down. An uncompetitive economy, media monopoly, uh, bureaucracy is being an issue, so we've got too many laws. And pollution is not great. Okay, as for our breakdown, we are very unpopular right now, but we'll try and improve that as time goes on. So, fair amount of religious people, and they don't like us. Socialists and trade unionists are quite happy with us. There are quite a lot of liberals, and so making them happy could well do us a lot of good. 
We are probably going to be annoying the religious groups, so we're going to have to try and tweak that if we can, try and lower their membership. And we already have some very useful policies here. We've already got stem cell research, uh, yeah, stem cell research implemented. It's on a moderate amount of funding. A very highly funded state health service. So since we are the technology party, let's start kicking things off immediately with some pro-tech things. We can release technology grants, put those on full. And I want to try tackling some of the bureaucracy issues by trimming down some, I think, unnecessary policies. So we've got absolutely fantastic health. I don't think there's any point in compulsory school sports. And so let's see how that goes. Health and education have both started to tick down. Potential doctor strike kick in. It's not ideal. Okay, so do we ratify the climate change protocol? I am going to go with that. Makes environmentalists very happy. That's going to open technology colleges, help boost technology a little further, and we can whack up science funding to full. Okay, looks like companies are starting to leave the country in corporate exodus, so we'll need to try and tackle that. Internet crime is kicking in. Okay, so do we safeguard our oil supplies? I'm going to send in the troops. Okay, so foreign relations go down. Capitalists like it. Seen as a strong leader. Okay, I'm going to move our labour laws back to being a bit more balanced. Mostly to reduce corporate exodus and also hopefully to see off that doctor strike that is pending. So just going to cancel the carpooling campaign for now. It's not doing much and it will just be adding to our bureaucracy meter. Okay, pretty bad our credit rating got downgraded. Okay, environmental protesters glued themselves to a plane. Major donor abandons the party. Rail strike is looking imminent. I think we can actually cancel the state rail industry. We get 10 billion up front, gets rid of some expenses that I don't think we really needed. So we're gonna cancel rubber bullets policy, cancel water cannon policy. I don't think we really need any of those unless we've got like rioting on our hands. They don't really do much other than piss people off. And that's increased funding for the witness protection program. Very nice. We've got rid of pollution. Didn't really do much there. Okay, strong leaders gone down because donors keep abandoning us. As for debt protection agencies, I'm going to limit their availability. That keeps the socialists on our side. Okay. We need to improve our perception a bit, so I am going to try and improve our strong leader perception. Spend six political power, but we've got 80% chance of success, so let's try that. And there we go, it works. So now at least they see us as neutral on the strong leader dial. I'm gonna spend the rest of our points to put in a really advanced intelligence service that should see off that internet crime problem that is growing and it's going to take a good chunk out of organized crime. So GM food proposal, we are all for science and technology so let's allow GM crops. Internet crime still on the rise but as intelligence service improves that should clear up. Okay and then I'm going to do something bit different. We're only getting 5 billion from corporate tax, but it is massively increasing the rates of tax evasion, massively contributing towards uncompetitive economy, and is almost completely behind corporate exodus. So I'm just going to outright cancel that policy. Cost us in the short term, but hopefully that will help alleviate some of our issues. Okay, so GDP is on the way up. We're getting some religious extremist groups starting. Yes, corporate exodus is now ticking down rather sharply. Uncompetitive economy is really shooting down. Also going to cancel a state water company. And I'm going to check in the telecommuting initiative. It's really quite cheap in the grand scheme of things. Helps lower car usage and increases productivity. We've got a new major party donor. Okay, so our donors are commuter, state employees, liberalists, environmentalists. Uh, so we are not going to ban livestock imports. Farmers get annoyed, but it helps keep up foreign relations. 
also going to chuck in robotics research grants. Going to cost us an extra billion, but further improve technology. So going to cancel the drug treatment scheme. I don't think we really need it. So going to try and bring in some money by increasing the tourism ad campaign that we're already running. We can also increase the diplomatic service. Make nice with our friends. Also, GDP is mostly on the up. Uh, internet crime is still being an issue. Intelligence services are just taking a while to kick in. It's the trouble, that. Yeah, and I'm going to criticise payday loans. Get the poor a little more on our side. Cancel our ban on Sunday cropping. It'll help GDP increase liberalism a little bit. Get even more GDP. We've got regional war, which is not great. Uh, it looks like pollution is going to start kicking in soon again. Deficit is starting to tick down. I'm going to put some more money into police drones to help tackle organised crime. Plus drones nice and safe-ish. Don't think our needle exchange program is doing much right now. So I'll cancel that just to save us on the policy. I'm going to boost funding to the state broadcaster just a little bit. Makes socialists happy, they're getting a little bit annoyed with me. Increases foreign relations and helps tackle the media monopoly. Okay, pollution's kicked in again, but the corporate exodus has stopped. Lost another major donor. I'm going to block the merger of major companies, try and get trade unionists and self-employees on my side a bit. GDP is now maxed out though, which is very nice. going to put in unexplained wealth orders. I really want to try and bring down uh, tax evasion, and this also will help tackle organised crime. Okay, so internet crime has kicked in, unfortunately. Okay, one of our ministers is getting annoyed, mostly because... I have not been really sticking with the liberalism side. Sorry, not liberalism, socialism side, so I need to do something to appease them. Okay, I'm going to put in a frequent flyer tax. Socialists and environmentalists like it. Get okay, us another little bit of money. Our credit rating has been upgraded. Gig economy looks like it may well start soon. I'm going to implement National Armed Forces Week, help increase my appearance as a strong leader, get the Patriots a bit more on my side. In native species has gone extinct. One of our major donors is wanting us to implement high speed rail subsidies. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to put it in on probably a fairly low level though. Can get, actually yeah, let's just throw this in. Get some more high speed rail going. I'm also going to lower income tax a little bit. It's going to have bad effect on our deficit, but I really want to get rid of tax evasion, and it will make everyone happy. I'm going to ban non-LED bulbs so the environmentalists are happy. Multinational tax evasion might kick in soon. Okay, there is a serious religious plot. I'm going to get rid of ID cards. That will appeal to the liberals quite extensively. Okay, going to... Try another media stunt. This time I'm going to do windsurfing. Actually play football charity match. Higher chance, cheaper to do, bigger impact. It failed and I look even worse. Okay, well I didn't expect this episode to end that way, but we have just been assassinated. Okay, so going hard tech route definitely didn't work out for Italy. We're in quite a lot of trouble there, and it's all gone to pot. I still think we learned some things there. Technology isn't as overpowered as it was in the earlier games. The earlier games that really would have just been the one way to absolutely win any game. It seems a lot more balanced now. So I'll need to think of something else to do for the next run. If you have any ideas, do just let me know, and otherwise I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and everyone else. Cheers!